Michael Sparks, and I'm going to be doing my presentation over the Ford Motor Company. The reason I picked the Ford Motor Company is because Ford is actually my favorite car brand, and I've always loved it ever since I was a kid. Um, my dad took me to a car show when I was about 13 years old, and I just had an amazing fascination with cars. Whenever I see four cars, they would just do something to me. It's possibly because my dad actually owns Mustangs. He's always owned Mustangs ever since he was growing up. So me looking up to my dad, I just saw that as a way that I should follow, I suppose. I could have chose any car, a Dodge or a Chevrolet, but I chose a Ford because I just honestly like Ford. I like it. I love it. The specific topics I'm going to be speaking about today are the types of vehicles that are sold under Ford, the sales of the certain vehicles yearly, and the revenue per year, and the differences between each year with, when it comes to revenue and cars sold. To begin, I'm going to speak about Ford's overall sales. They sold about 2,511,935 vehicles in 2015, and this is just pure vehicles every single ford vehicle they've ever sold in 2015 um there is a chart that i put on my slide on for this slide that shows every single year of ford vehicles sold and this is the highest year ever the highest year ever of how many they sold in 2015 and it really touches me that that year they sold that much because that's my graduation year and that's actually the year of mustang i'm gonna buy actually is a 2015 mustang gt it is the highest car sales year ever, and it introduced the new body Mustang, and that's possibly the reason why they sold so many cars that year, because there was a new generation of a Mustang that came out in 2015, so that could actually account for the amount of sales they sold. About car specifics, I'm going to talk about the 4GT. A very rare car that you won't really see on the street. You possibly won't ever see it on the street ever. They only sold 126 of them in 2018. Um, it came with free driving lessons were included with this. And they sold for about $450,000 per car. So, yeah, you probably weren't going to end up getting that car unless you were a millionaire. Or you were really on top of your money, on top of your game. I don't even think a doctor would be able to afford that because he's not even making that much in a year. So, yeah. And that was Ford GT. Next, I'm going to talk about the Ford Mustang. Um, this is my favorite vehicle in the whole entire world, even though I don't have one yet. Um, the new generation of Mustangs were introduced in 2015, actually. Um, this caused a major influx in Ford and in Ford's personality, in Ford's um, profit, and Ford's revenue just really skyrocketed up Ford with everything that they were doing. Um, they sold 122,349 vehicles in 2015. Um, that is a huge difference when it comes to the past years and even now because they've never sold that many vehicles before in one year altogether. So that's truly amazing. Um, it's still the biggest sale year of, a, of the Ford car ever, like ever. And this is just Mustang. This is just a Mustang by itself. It sold 122,345 vehicles in 2015, just period. That's truly amazing. I think, I believe on the chart right now, they haven't even sold, I don't think they've even sold 100,000 in 2018. So you can say it's a rare car in a way. But the reason that they sold that many is because they came out with a new edition of a Mustang in 2015. It was in a completely different body, a completely different front, a completely different tail end. It was just completely different. The total revenue that Ford um, made in 2015 was $149.6 million. That is ridiculously high. But actually, it's high. In the years now, in the years later on, that they made more revenue, it was not a very, very significant increase in revenue that they made, but they were continuing to make more revenue. 
um, I saw that the reason that this happened was because vehicles were becoming more expensive over the years because of the influx and because of the parts that are made and everything that's going on. Um, they have had inclines every single year. I have not seen any declines in any of the years, um, but the increases were not very big every year for the revenue. There were not very big increases. The increases maybe went up by a million dollars or maybe $2 million per year. Um, but right now, the highest revenue um, for Transworld right now is the 2018, 2018 right now. 2019 is still in progress right now. So there is no revenue at the moment for the 2019 for revenue. To come to a conclusion on my presentation, um, I believe that Ford is moving in a very positive direction, um, seeing that they have not only muscle vehicles and supercars that are extremely expensive to get and you might not ever buy them, they also have luxury vehicles, they also have regular sedan vehicles that you see every day on the streets, such as the Ford Focus, um, the Ford Fiesta, um, the Ford Taurus, um, luxury vehicles like Lincoln vehicles. Um, not only muscle cars like the Mustang and not only supercars like the Ford GT. So I feel like Ford is moving in a great direction. I feel like they will always be at the top, in my opinion. I really like Ford. That's the reason I chose Ford because I knew I would have confidence speaking about Ford. Um, I've always loved Ford as a kid and I really am looking forward to see what Ford is going to do in the future. And thank you for listening to my presentation.